IVBN, the rich video blog network, home to weekly NFL predictions, great personality profiles, great professional wrestling video blogs, great sports video blogs, great MBTA video blogs, great top 10 list of everything and anything, plus more great stuff. Collection My Work goes back to June of 2014. On various social media websites, RVB and the only video blog on the internet that matters. Time now, 718 in the morning, Bellwick, Massachusetts. It's Thursday, May 11th, 2017. Around 47 degrees out. Sunny skies. Sun during the daytime. And in the afternoon, maybe some mix of clouds, maybe some showers. This will be the same thing until Monday. Then we'll finally get out of this weather pattern. And it's going to be warmer. Temperatures in the 60s, maybe 70s. Some news to report on the RVBN News. Why do, 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 do. The Boston Celtics crushed the Washington Wizards last night by the score of 121-102. The Celtics are up. 3-2. The series goes back to Washington for Game 6 tomorrow night on ESPN. Also, the Milwaukee Brewers beat the Boston Red Sox by a score of 7-4. The Pittsburgh Penguins blank the Washington Capitals to win their series in the Stanley Cup playoffs. Four games to three. The Caps choked once again. Not good. And the Ducks Beat the Oilers by the score of 2-1 to one to win that series, setting up a matchup against the uh, Nashville Predators. The Oilers did not um, advance past the second round. And there's no shot of a All-Canadians Finals. And it's happy... Azores Day, happy National Technology Day in the India. Deep Patel's probably happy. Last week, no bus. And happy National Eat What You Want Day. And that's about it on the news from the RVBN News. Why do, 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 do. Back in a flash with my first video blog subject of the day. Get out, you're so sweet because they're cute. The more the hell you go, find something to do. I know, I know, I know. I'm doing good. Are you writing a book? I don't care about game shows. Release the hoes. Want to put a wager on that, Richie? Uh, qu great quotes only on RVBN. Times are now 7.20 in the morning. Bellwicker, Massachusetts. I'm back. My first video blog subject of the day is my personality profile. Today's personality profile is about former professional wrestling valet Jeannie Clark slash Lady Blossom. Lady Blossom and Jeannie Clark was in the um, world of professional wrestling for about um, a few years in the early 1990s and she was famous for being the ex-wife of Chris Adams in a storyline and she was once married to Stone Cold Steve Austin the professional wrestler WWE Hall of Famer Jeannie was born in and grew up in England Jeannie worked as a professional model for a few years in the late 70s and early 1980s she became the boyfriend of professional wrestler Chris Adams in the early 1980s Jeannie was the valet for Chris Adams and a few wrestling organizations in the United Kingdom when Chris went over to the United States to wrestle Jeannie went with him they had a kid together named Jade and Chris and Jeannie never got married in real life in for about two years in the mid 1980s Jeannie was married to professional wrestler Billy Jack Haynes or what Bobby the Brain Heenan would call him Billy Jack in 1990 
Pacini was involved in a storyline at USWA Dallas where she was the ex-wife of Chris Adams using the name Jeannie Adams and Jeannie um, became the valet of St stunning Steve Austin who was trained to become a wrestler by Chris Adams and Steve William Steve um, Austin turned against Chris Adams and it was a kind of a f we building up we kind of building up a feud similar to 1980 with like Larry Sabisco turning on Bruno San Martino and Steve Austin brought in um, Jeannie Clark she was billed as Jeannie Adams the ex-wife of Chris Adams Chris Adams had his um, current wife at the time Tony Adams and this feud was one of the hottest feuds in USWA Dallas I th think it won the 1990 feud of the year for Pro Wrestling Illustrated. Jeannie would always interfere in matches be between Chris Adams and Steve Austin by knocking out Chris and, you know, breaking her, his eyes. And then Tony would come down and she would get into cat fights, cat fights with Jeannie. There were several mixed tag team matches between Tony and Chris t against Jeannie and Steve Austin and these matches were very exciting very good Jeannie and Tony weren't trained wrestlers but it was decent this feud lasted for all of 1990 and early 1991 then in the middle of 1991 Steve Austin and Jeannie um, Clark leave um, USWA Dallas to jo join WCW. Le I mean, Jeannie Clark was requesting as Lady Blossom. She was a valet of st stunning Steve Austin for about seven months. Um, Lady Blossom led um, Steve Austin to the WCW television title and um, Lady Blossom would always interfere in matches like raking the back of Steve Austin's opponent or kicking him kicking them in the chest or the the legs and she would get very physically involved like once Steve Austin's about to lose Lady Blossom would um piggyback the uh, Steve Austin's pulling and causing disqualification and she took some decent bumps and then in in the fall of 1991 um, Lady Blossom um, gave Steve Austin a f like brass knuckle she brought them out of a like dress and this angle was a for a few weeks and it was like a pretty good angle Medusa actually saw that interference one time and grabbed the uh, brass knuckles out of Lady Blossom's dress reversing a decision and they probably were setting something up with Lady Blossom and Medusa somewhere down the road but that was never meant to be as Lady Blossom left WCW in late 1991 because Steve Austin was going to the Dangerous Alliance. Steve Austin and Jeannie Clark were married in real life for about nine years. They had two daughters together and Jeannie was the one who who gave state, um, Steve Austin the name of Stone Cold because they were watching a movie together and Jeannie says you better drink your um, tea before it goes Stone Cold and that's how that's how Stone Cold got the name Stone Cold Steve Austin in 1991 Steve and Jeannie divorced Jeannie suffered for some from some depression for a while but you know she moved to England with their two daughters and Jeannie wrote a book 
about her like time with Stone Cold Steve Austin in 2016. She appears in wrestling conventions, and, she, and that's pretty good. Kind of like the Lady Blossom character in WCW was a very effective valet. And that's about it on that. I'll be back in a few minutes for my take on new strip malls going into Belloc and Massachusetts. Keep calm, everybody. I'm a Julie Button guy. Molly Rose Blood, WCC, Alexander's Nice Legs, Elizabeth Hatz, so so stunning. She's best. Amy Sweezy's awesome. Awesome, Amy. The Church of WPI Action. I love New York. Such a wagon. Google's got the best legs in New York City. Bond on. Poppy Givers have ABC 11, Sweet Southern Accent. Best legs in Raleigh, North Carolina. When Claire WHDH Channel 7, Boston is awesome. And, and, and when Claire, WHCH of, in Boston, has best likes in Boston. Have a good day, Facebook, YouTube, Twitter.